Ever wondered how to turn old computer parts into pure gold you can hold in your hand? Today I'll show you how I refine ram fingers from e-waste into solid gold, step by step. With tips for consistent results every time. Stick around because the transformation is remarkable. Start by separating the gold foils from the circuit board. The trick for speed, dissolve the base metals underneath using dilute nitric acid. I've split the batch into two beakers, 500 grams each, freeze your handling down the road. I'm starting by adding this already used but not exhausted nitric acid into each beaker. I'll put it on the heat and we'll let that reaction run its course. Okay, that acid is exhausted. You can see the bulk of the fingers are still attached. We're going to decant these solutions, we'll filter them to catch any of the foils that did release, and then we'll add fresh nitric acid and heat to finish the job. We'll add 500 milliliters of distilled water into each beaker. and then 150 milliliters of fresh nitric acid into each beaker. Watch closely, as this is where the gold really starts to reveal itself. Next, we collect our gold foils by decanting our solutions into the filter with the spent solution and rinsing with distilled water to pull most of the nitric out of the beaker. We'll do this for both beakers, then we'll move on to getting the gold foils off of the fingers themselves. Here's the start of our collected gold foils. To wash the foils off the fiberglass fingers, I use a five gallon bucket, a strainer, and a power washing guardian hose attachment. Makes it stuff fast, makes it thorough. As the fingers are clearing of the foils, I inspect them to make sure no gold is left behind, re-rinsing if needed. And last look at our fingers, all of the gold foils are gone, they're in the five gallon buckets. And once separated, squirt a jet dry helps the foil settle, it's going to make the collection easier. I'm going to go ahead and decant between the buckets and the beaker here, get all of our foils into a single beaker that we can easily add to the rest of the foils we filtered already. In most of the demonstrations you see on YouTube, this step is usually the longest and the most tedious going finger by finger. A few simple tricks here speed things up exponentially. Transfer the first bucket to the beaker. You can't these water off the top of the foils in the second bucket and then we'll transfer that to the beaker as well. So here are our gold foils from the fingers. I'm going to go ahead and run those through the filter, get all of our foils into one single filter. 
to clean up and remove the jet dry, we'll also do a couple of distilled water rinses on the foils as part of this filtering process. Stay tuned, because once we have our gold foil separated and in the filter, the really fun stuff starts to begin. Our gold's all in the filter. It's dried out. We're gonna get it into a beaker and start the process of dissolving it, put into solution with aqua regia. See all that gold falling out of there? We're gonna go ahead and rinse all the shiny stuff out of the filter as well. Leave behind that ugly fiberglass junk that's on the very bottom. Also gonna pour off some of the fiberglass powder that's come through to this point. It just clogs up the filter, makes for a little more difficult filtering later. So we'll just get that into another beaker and then we're gonna start the aqua regia process. Aqua regia, a mix of hydrochloric acid and nitric acid. I'm gonna start by topping off to the foils with hydrochloric acid and putting this up on the heat where they're gonna add a small amount of nitric acid to form our aqua regia, which will dissolve the gold. I'm gonna add a little bit of sulfuric acid, which will precipitate out any lead that might happen to be present. The aqua regia reaction is fast, dramatic, and the red yellow color that results in the solution is the color of gold. It took about 10 minutes to dissolve those gold foils. But before we see any actual gold, we're gonna to need to filter out any contaminants that are still in the solution. Multiple rounds of filtering through the same filter are gonna get us to a crystal clear solution and it set the stage for us to get some pure gold recovery. Get our filter set up, get our filter paper into the filter, wet it down to get the seal, and we're off to the races. This time we have a nice clear solution, so we're gonna go ahead and put it in the beaker and proceed to the next step. Before we precipitate our gold, a quick stannous chloride test to make sure we have gold in solution. That dark stain, there it is, tells us that there is gold in solution ready to come out and be our friend. We're gonna go ahead and use Stump Out by Bonide, sodium metabisulfite. This will drop the gold out of solution. We're gonna add just a little in. Watching the gold precipitate of solution, it's always a satisfying moment. There it goes. I'm gonna add just a little bit more in. We're gonna do a second stannous chloride test to make sure we have all of the gold out of solution. This test is negative, so it's time to let this gold settle out. As the powder settles the bottom of the beaker, it never gets old. The gold is settled. I'll decant the solution and transfer the powder to a smaller beaker. Decant it again and clean it with boiling hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid boil will remove impurities that may have dropped down with the gold, leaving us with a much purer gold powder at the end.
been boiling for about 10 minutes. I'm going to pull it off the heat. We'll decant off the acid. I'm then going to do several washes with hot distilled water and then we're going to carefully let our gold powder dry before melting. Here's our dried gold powder. I'm going to take it over to the milk station get every last bit of it into the milk dish. You could re-refine this powder for higher purity, but this powder is actually looking pretty good. I think we're gonna see a nice clean button at the end. Nothing beats picking up that gold button that you created. Finally, feeling the heft of that gold is incredibly satisfying. It's a small piece, but it just feels heavy. It has a nice shine, nice pipe. For one kilogram of ram fingers, I got 6.74 grams of pure gold. That is almost right on my expected three grams of pure gold per pound. Following these steps on ram fingers works every time for me. The results are very consistent and the gold is just fantastic. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts or questions in the comments. Thank you.